Alright, this saves that 100%. I, I should have, well, except for those points, but I'm not going to stop for them now. Try and beat your best time on this road. We'll do it, Mindy. Nothing can distract us. So from here on out, you can try for your best time. But I ain't really gonna bother with that. How many tokens do I have anyway? How can I see? How can I see how many tokens I have anyway? Now, let's just take a chance. Uh, let's hope we have enough. By the way, that's how you do the stage select. You can do it anytime you want. Awesome! You have enough goofy Good, that's what I thought. for your next ability, the Sponge Bowl. <laughs> no, sponge bowl. It's really useful on things you don't want to get too close to. Those nasty bucket heads must be stopped. Shell City is on the other side of this dark, scary place. Real men aren't afraid of the dark. You need to get across this trench. Real men aren't afraid of the trench? Of course they're not. Just look out for monsters. Monsters. I'll bet. Alright, the mission get to the other side of the trench. Alright, we're gonna have to level up our sponge ball. We have We have the shock ball. Guess what it's gonna do? Well, alright, let me show you. <laughs> it makes an electric explosion. And it's pretty nice. Oh! And if you just noticed, Patrick was riding on a monster tentacle. And that monster tentacle took Patrick into the lava. Patrick's gonna die in there. Alright, new enemy. An enemy that teleports away from you if you get too close to it. Get up here and fight like a starfish. Uh-huh. You... Why well, ain't a starfish? I take this. You can either reflect the attacks back at him. Or just toss your, um, shock ball at him. But those enemies give you a huge amount of points. Anyway, um... The solo may look like the Moon Mountain Pass from Star Fox Adventures. So yeah, this is one of my favorite levels. It's, it's all... Dark, scary, and I love the music. And there's an enemy generator thingy. Those TVs right there, they will disappear if you get too close. I wonder what we have to do to destroy them. If you weren't paying attention to what I said back in the desert, the new move we get for Spongebob, we occasionally have to use to destroy the new type of box. So guess how we have to destroy the TVs? Duh. Here's a section where the platforms are gonna sink into the lava. I get the feeling you're gonna give me a big amount of points, so I'm gonna kill you. Right quick. 
Um, cool. Big enough, at least. Oh yeah, the thing about the spun, the electric ball, if an electric ball, um, misses, but gets close enough to an enemy, um, it shoots electricity out at the target, and will eventually destroy the target. But when it hits something, it's gonna explode into an electricity. It won't damage you, so don't worry. It's a pretty cool move. It's really useful. You're gonna need it. So we're entering another combat arena. This one is the second hardest. There's uh, four combat arenas, and this one's the third one. The third one. All these enemies are Plankton's minions. It's clearly obvious we're going to be encountering them in the final stage. They take more hits than, uh, than any other enemy. There's also the guy that shoots the green balls at you that we just met, the new guy. But, they, but these ones shoot more than three, making them a lot easier to kill since you can just knock them away. Like so. But just so if you don't get hit, of course. I didn't get very many points for that, did I? Plankton's minions take lots of hits to beat. They are a force to be reckoned with. When the, when the teleporting guys um, start to laugh at you, that's when they're open to attack. You're able to quickly run up to them and attack them. It's pretty useful, actually. <laughs> yes, and there are bombs that can help you destroy these guys. Really comes in handy here. Like I said, brute force to be reckoned with. <laughs> oh, there, Mike. New guy. Arr. One left, and it's a new guy. Alright, now this next round is kind of special. We're actually going to be, be beating a new enemy. A new enemy without the cutscene. See that enemy in the center right there? Well... The enemy in the center right there shoots missiles at you. Missiles that you can obviously knock back to him. However, um, if you get too close to him, he will shoot you with an unavoidable laser. Therefore, you do not want to get too close to him. I'm going to show you. You see that? Get too close and that laser will shoot. And I think the the, elect the shock ball works too. Not really sure though. Okay, I'm about, I'm about to die, so I'm gonna run for it. They give me some health.
These guys are really on me, aren't they? Let's hope I don't die. 